Hi everyone, uh, this is Fazluddin. Welcome to Technology Adda. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, Terraform actually and uh, uh, as part of this session I am going to cover about uh, Terraform basics. So once uh, you, you go through this uh, uh, all the slides and you will get a uh, basic understanding of uh, Terraform uh, software. Okay, So what is called by Terraform? We'll call Terraform in a different uh, name also, which is infrastructure as code. So it is a very interesting um, uh, application, uh, which is uh, nowadays we are using in uh, uh, configuration of uh, environments. Okay, so let's uh, go through the slides and uh, I will take you through the basic uh, understanding of the Terraform. Okay, let's move to the next slide. So as part of this session, I'm going to cover uh, what is Terraform, how does uh, Terraform work and uh, manage any infrastructure and uh, track your infrastructure and uh, automate uh, changes and uh, standardize uh, configurations and uh, collaborate. So let's move to the next slide. So coming to what is uh, Terraform. So as I told, uh, the starting of this session like uh, Hashicorp uh, Terraform is an uh, infrastructure as code tool okay that lets you to define both cloud and on-premises resources in uh, human readable configuration files okay and uh, which can be version and reuse and share so these are the main uh, features of uh, Terraform and uh, you can then use the use a consistent workflow to provision and manage all the, your infrastructure uh, throughout its uh, life cycle okay and uh, terraform terraform can uh, manage low level components like uh, compute storage and networking resources as well as high level components like uh, dns entries and uh, saas features also so this is all about uh, terraform okay so this is the basic information about uh, terraform you can say Okay, uh, let's move to the next slide. How does Terraform work? So here we are going to understand how the Terraforms uh, will work. Okay, normally in uh, if you want to use in your uh, part of application development. Okay, and uh, this is mainly used by DevOps team to create the infrastructure. Okay, and um, Let's move to the topic of how does Terraform work. So Terraform creates and manages resources on cloud platforms and other services through their uh, application program interfaces. Okay. And uh, the complete, uh, it happens through the APIs of uh, Terraform. Okay. And it provides uh, uh, enable te Terraform to work with virtually any platform or a service with accessing accessible APIs. Okay. It can work with any platform, okay. Not only the cloud platform, it is like an on-premises also, it will work. Okay. So there is here's the diagram like uh, how the uh, Terraform will work with the APIs, okay. The Terraform and how the Terraform providers uh, providers will uh, uh, reach and after that it will call the targeted APIs, okay. Let's move to the next slide. So here are the uh, basic steps uh, which will follow as part of uh, Terraform implementation. First is a write and uh, next is a plan and uh, apply. Write means like uh, you will define the resources details which you want to configure. For example, you might create a configuration to deploy application on virtual machines in a virtual private cloud VPC network with security group and load balance. Everything you can, you will define by writing a Terraform file. Okay, and uh, coming to the plan, Terraform creates an execution plan. Once you write the file, uh, it will Terraform will create an execution plan, and it will it will create update and test type based on the existing infrastructure and in your configuration. We can create and update and test type using uh, the Terraform file, and uh, which will be created through the plan. Okay, and apart from that, uh, third step is uh, apply. Okay, if this is after approval. After approval, Terraform performs a proposed operation in the correct order. 
okay respect to any resources dependency okay so it will not uh, like uh, execute uh, in different different uh, way or in improper way normally it will uh, understand your uh, code and uh, it will execute in the proper sequence so you the configuration uh, will be like an uh, see when you write the steps it should it should work properly otherwise it will happen uh, misconfiguration okay it happens misconfiguration so it will execute in a sequence for example if you update the properties of vpc and change the number of virtual machines in the vpc terraform will recreate the vpc before scaling the virtual machines okay so it will it will check whether it is properly uh, proper it is in a proper steps or not so it will if it is not available it recreates the vpc before scaling the virtual machines okay so that is what uh, apply will do okay these are the main uh, three things uh, we need to uh, make sure that we understood properly before uh, starting with the terraform okay right plan and apply let's move to the next line so here i have given some uh, diagram like which we discussed in before like right plan and apply how the steps will happen okay first if you see the right one like terraform configuration and terraform file will be created and uh, plan means like how the execution plan will happen in the terraform the terraform plan is a uh, uh, step next step and uh, uh, it reviews actually reviews the terraform plan the reviews the changes in the terraform will make your infrastructure uh -huh. make your infrastructure okay apply is like if you see in the bottom you can see different uh, uh, cloud in ground google cloud is aws is a microsoft cloud is there okay thousand providers means any other providers also it will take care of the apply okay apply terraform provisions your infrastructure and updates the uh, state file okay let's move to the next line and uh, here uh, manage any infrastructure okay so as part of terraform we can manage any infrastructure okay find the provide providers for many in platforms okay and services you already use in the terraform registry okay it it finds the providers okay and uh, we can use uh, uh, terraform uh, services in the terraform registry all okay you can also write your own okay and terraform takes the immutable approach to infrastructure and uh, reducing the complexity of upgrading or uh, modifying your services in the and infrastructure okay and uh, you i think you got uh, the point like reducing the complexity means it won't it, it is not much comp complex to write the terraform uh, scripts and uh, to configure the infrastructure it is it decreases actually using the simple steps and it will decreases the complexity to configure the infrastructure let's move to the next slide and uh, coming to the uh, next slide like we have we are going to discuss on track your infrastructure so when see what happens is uh, normally when you uh, write uh, terraform script and when you execute it so how you will track it so terraform generates a plan and prompts you for your approval okay before modifying your infrastructure okay and uh, that's how you will track okay it won't execute automatically when you once you have to approve then only it will get executed and it also keeps the track of uh, your uh, uh, real infrastructure in the state file it will generate one state file where you can find uh, 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 what are the actions we done through that um, uh, terraform okay and uh, which acts as a source of truth for your environment okay so terraform uses the state file to determine the changes to make because uh, which i told uh, now okay which may will it will match your configuration so if there is any uh, configuration mismatch or anything using the state file you can uh, check what happened okay what are the actions we did and why it is happened Okay, so you can track through the state file of uh, Terraform. Let's move to the next slide. Automation changes. So Terraform configuration files are uh, declarative, meaning that they they describe the end state of your infrastructure. Okay, and uh, you no need to write the step by step instruction to create the resources because Terraform handles the underlying logic. Okay, it, it no need to like complete steps is not required, so it will handles internally some steps. Okay. So it will decrease the unnecessary steps. Okay, so we can uh, in simple two three lines of uh, code of uh, Terraform we can do may many changes. That is what it means. And uh, Terraform builds a resource graph to determine resource dependency and creates 
or modifies the non-dependent resources in parallel. So this is really a very good feature in Terraform. Resource graph it will get. So by seeing that you can check the resources dependency on each other. Okay, related to the configuration. Okay, and uh, this allows the Terraform to provision a resource effectively. Okay, so we can see how effectively this resource has got allocated in the environment. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Uh, coming to standardizing configurations, Terraform supports reusable configuration components called modules. Okay, and uh, that defines configurable uh, collections of infrastructure and it saves the time and increases best practices. Okay, and it has a reusable module so which can be used to write our code for in the Terraform. Okay, you can use publicly uh, available modules from the Terraform registry or uh, write your own. We can customize our own. Uh, modules also okay let's move to the next step collaborate so collaborate means like uh, uh, since you since we are creating the configuration files uh, we can uh, store these files in the uh, version controller and uh, use terraform cloud to effectively manage terraform cloud also we can use to manage the terraform workflow across teams okay multiple teams are working on the same Terraform files we can uh, configure that and we can give the access to them and Terraform clouds, uh, cloud uh, runs Terraform in the in a consistent okay reliable environment and provides a secure access to the shared state and the secret data okay and role based access to the uh, access control and uh, private registry for sharing both uh, modules and uh, provides uh, uh, providers and more okay so Terraform cloud uh, will have a lot of features which will have the more control on the Terraform uh, files. Otherwise, we can use the version controller system also to collaborate the team members. We can give the access to the respective DevOps team who can modify the scripts and they can run after the approval and uh, they can create the infrastructure. Okay. So this is the overall uh, uh, details of uh, uh, Terraform. So. This is, a, this is a completely basic understanding of what is a Terraform and what exactly it will do. Okay, so many places, uh, many projects they are using Terraform. So some some people may not aware of what is Terraform. And the uh, scripts also very easy actually. You can easily configure the uh, uh, Terraform uh, scripts and uh, you can run easily. And you can create any, you know, like for example in AWS if you want to create a S3 file. You can write two, three steps in the Terraform and if you execute it. It automatically creates the S3 bucket, okay, in um, uh, AWS. Okay, like that you can create any uh, uh, virtual machines and uh, VPC configurations. Okay, anything. If you take any configuration, it is added into that uh, Terraform. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, understood the basic concepts with this session. And uh, uh, so, thank you so much for listening me. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more. Uh, technical